Hello, everybody. My name is Andy. I'm founder and CEO of Commerce.ai. Commerce.ai is a six-year-old startup, profitable startup. Uh, we are part of a Pegasus uh, program. I don't know if you know about Pegasus program. It's an invite-only program, so Microsoft helps select few startups with go-to-market, with sales, uh, and so we are one of the fortunate ones. The title is actually outdated. The world of AI is moving so fast that we not only analyze customer experience, but we actually activate and automate, and that's the uh, demo I want to show today. Uh, like I mentioned, we are part of Pegasus program, six year old, and we have uh, many enterprise customers. Stepping back, the problem we're looking at is the, uh, the data, you know, 45 quintillion bytes of data created every day. 90% of this data is unstructured and it's growing exponentially. Yes, take a picture of that. Unstructured data is text, audio, video, images. And this data is spread across different apps, whether enterprise apps, consumer apps, or public internet. When, it, when enterprises look at the data, they look at it either external data or internal data. With this external data, it is in reviews, um, videos, forums. So that's where the market signals are, market experiences. And then internal data are mostly contact center data, meetings, or surveys, the data the enterprises guard very closely. And that's where their employee experience, customer experience comes in. And that's the big picture, and that's the world of unstructured data. Now the question is, how do you activate that? How do you pull signals? How do you pull intelligence? And then how do you automate uh, workflows based on that? And that's what uh, we're doing. So typical, uh, in Typical workflow looks like this, and you know this is an example. L starting from left, uh, we have about 170 different connectors, and when we say connectors, they are not always clean, right? Some of them are uh, you have to build it. Some of them are clean. Some of them are clean API. Um, if it's real-time data, then there is this web socket that we build. Um, sometimes even crawling, right? If it's public internet, we have to do crawling. So that is the step one. When it's, the data comes in, we store it. If it's slow moving data, it's stored using Azure services. And if it's fast moving data like audio, we use uh, WebRTC. Some of them have WebRTC audio hooks on, uh, on, um, on a secure uh, system that we do. And then we put it into processing um, and we use a lot of Azure cognitive services. And um, as you know, a lot of them are getting replaced by uh, Azure OpenAI services, you know, uh, starting with transcription and things like that. We also have the uh, compliance, security, and scaling infrastructure, and how do you deploy into enterprises, and there's a whole discussion on that. We train the models periodically. These are customer models. We train them periodically based on how fast the data is moving. And then finally, the output goes in either a dashboard um, that they can look at the extracted intelligence, but more and more these days, everything is going into automation. So they don't even look at the dashboard. We pull, push the output into Power BI or Microsoft Dynamics or their own internal apps. That's a, just an example. So to show you uh, a demo, uh, this is a setup. So we have a contact center type of situation here, contact center call. That's the input on structured data, audio data. We're going to show how we use Azure services and OpenAI included to extract intelligence out of it and then push the structured data or automation into uh, Dynamics or Power BI. So for the demo, we're using Genesis. I don't know if you know about Genesis. Genesis is the largest contact center software company, and we have a connector on that. So we use uh, WebRTC uh, audio hook, they call it, and then we connect the real-time call and uh, do real-time uh, cognitive services and open AI on top of that. So I'm uh, going to show a quick demo here. Uh, the situation is this. Uh, Somebody is calling for a vacuum cleaner uh, type of call, and it's uh, going to be a, a discussion between the customer and a customer service agent. Uh, this call was recorded some time back because we didn't want the audio interference. So we did the recording some time back. My colleague uh, is going to play the role of a customer, and I'm the customer support agent. So I'll play this uh, quick clip, and then I'll explain how, what it is. 
One moment. Hi, my name is Andy. How may I help you? Hi, Hi Andy. Andy. I'd like to speak to someone about a product, product issue. issue. Sure, I'm happy to help you with that. Um, what's the product you're calling about? It's, it's the, the Crosswave. Wave. Okay, um, how can I help you? I purchased, I purchased the Crosswave cross wave less than a year ago. ago. It has it completely, completely stopped working. working. How can how I get, can I get service? it serviced? Oh, looks like it's still uh, in the warranty period. Uh, we can send a replacement right away. Great. Great. Thank, you, Thank so you so much. much. That, helps that helps me. All right. So the call is still live, but we muted on both the sides. And um, let me walk you through what we are looking at here. Uh, the call is processed in real time. So you see on the top right, that's the agent assist that we can partner with uh, many other companies, including uh, uh, Microsoft. The call is getting transcribed in real time. Uh, this is custom model, and that's getting transcribed. We are also redacting. So if there is a name or sensitive information, social security number, again, these are all Azure OpenAI APIs that we use. Uh, we're also creating sentiment. So green is positive. Uh, red is negative, and you can see the customer sentiment went down, and, and it's going up. Um, and we also have alerts, so if there are sensitive keywords, and this is a big deal in uh, customer support, if there are uh, sensitive keywords that we send alerts. And then uh, finally, there is this thing called topics. So this is where the unstructured data is getting converted into structure. So we're creating these topics uh, that are coming from this contact center call. All right, so now uh, what we're gonna do is... Uh, okay, so I have the address based in Dallas, zip code 76227, is that correct? Yes, yes that, that is, is correct. correct. Great, uh, by the way, I'm just curious, how are you uh, using this product? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Uh, well, well, we have, we have three, three big dogs. dogs. Uh, I, use I use the Crossway daily, daily um, as, as they, they go, go out in the backyard, backyard and are constantly bringing in mud, in uh, grass, uh, dirt. dirt. Um, so, so this is really, really the only, only product, product that quickly that cleans, cleans our floors. floors. Okay, I don't know if you heard that, but what I asked is, how are you using this vacuum cleaner? He mentioned the use case. Now, that use case was extracted as a use case using Azure OpenAI service. So now you imagine that if you have thousands of these use cases from live calls, you can do wonders. And I want to show you how we use these use cases. Use case is just an example. It could be wish list or issues. So these can be extracted in, in real time. So finally, um, we're going to summarize this call uh, using, again, Azure OpenAI services. And uh, Azure OpenAI does what it's uh, good at. It's going to summarize the, the call. Um, and this summary is basically, if you think about it, summary is a, a type of structured uh, intelligence from the unstructured data. So not only summary, but we're also extracting reason for calling, why customers calling, and then uh, next actions. So if agent is supposed to do an action or so, do something follow up. So again, this is uh, pretty accurate, and uh, you can imagine thousands of or sometimes you know, hundreds and thousands of calls every day getting summarized and pulled that information. So 30% of the time uh, that agents or customer support agent spend is on this type of thing, summarizing, extracting intelligence. All right, so now we are pushing the structured data into uh, Microsoft Dynamics. So you can see that it's, you can push the uh, reason for calling, uh, next action items, and then also transcript. So all the transcribed items get pushed. Advanced topics that I show structured get pushed into Power BI, and then we have Power BI templates. So all of this was done manually, and now it can be automated. Um, and so now take it to the next level. We have launched something called Automate, um, and everybody has Copilot for something. Ours is a Copilot for customer experience. 
and we have lots of different tasks that we are automating. And so one of the examples uh, is what I was showing earlier. I was asking how they're using vacuum cleaner and we extracted use cases. And so now imagine use these use cases to automate uh, ads. So creating up ads. And this is one of the customer that's uh, example. So we have, uh, imagine these are your prompts that are coming out, uh, use cases from the customer experience calls and uh, creating ads based on that. So it's not, it's not blind ads, right? These are informed ads. These are actual customers' voices getting amplified as ad. And uh, you know, here we use the same example. This is pretty, uh, you know, these kind of generative uh, exercises is pretty uh, addictive and you can keep creating ads, but these are, you know, this is how we stop the hallucination and pointed ads. All right, so what we saw here is quick demo of how we take unstructured data in real time. Uh, we process using Azure OpenAI services um, and other cognitive services and put the structured and automation into uh, into Dynamics and Power BI. And we have lots of different uh, tasks that we have automated and we have created library. Uh, if you're in this space, uh, we would love to talk to you, uh, either your customer or partner or just enthusiasts. We'd love to talk to you. And that concludes our presentation. I'm your Commerce AI. Thank you.